Uh, okay, yeah, going crazy off the army money. There's people that don't be wanting the realist, you know. Okay, so boom. Since I asked y'all the first time, okay. why y'all join the army? For the hoes and the uniforms. Why'd you join the army? I have no idea. This shit sucks. Uh, you're sure about this, right? Because, I mean, that's a five year contract. Time to pick your career in the army. Does it come with an enlistment bonus? Does it come with an enlistment bonus? Come on, man. We're the army. Major, why'd you join the army? Because I got lost on the way to college. We're about to start our first lecture for all the new recruits. Whatever. Don't expect me to kiss your ass or <laughs> nut. You. And you're gonna see when you're there. Well, I'm gonna try to keep it together. But, um. So I just want to make this TikTok because I was just on live this morning, and of course we all know uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. But in this TikTok, like, of course, you know, okay, I'm in uniform, everybody knows what's going on. So of course, everybody coming in with the Ukraine, Russia, and all of that, you know, comments or whatever, asking questions. And I'm just like, I'm not here for that. I'm not addressing any of that. But then, like, it's just like... Sure, you've heard of TMI. We got PFC Wells here sharing your entire army enlistment on TikTok. It was all fun and games, the twerking, the ass shaking. Then we get a slight fly in the ointment to the TikTok stardom. Russia invades Ukraine. Then there's a slight possibility of deployment. Let's take a gander. How the army got you up today, Wells? Well. She dancing, living the good life off army money. <laughs> living the good, oh yeah. Okay, yeah, going crazy off the... I really hate it how people are so insensitive, especially like, and it's like, it's the civilians. And, but they're so insensitive to like, what military people really go through. Let's start off by saying you can't expect civilians to appreciate the day-to-day -day life of a young PFC in the army. Don't expect that. And when you put your army enlistment on display on TikTok, guess what? You're going to get some backlash. I'm going to get into my opinion of this. Let's hear what the fine young PFC has to say. This is my first term. Uh, and like, it's like, y'all, like, what makes me so mad is like, y'all are so insensitive. You crying, boy? Maybe we'll go back down to McDonald's and get you a hamburger and some french fries. Y'all want to talk about, oh, this is what you signed up for, wanting to go to war, thinking they're going to go to war. I'm financed for crying out loud. Nope. If I were talking to PFC Wells, I'd say, calm down. You're not going to get deployed in three days. You're not part of a unit that's going to get 24-hour notice. Just take a deep breath. Now, saying all that, you got a 17-year-old that enlists, goes into the Army at the tail end of the war. So, her expectation is, I'm not going to get deployed. How can we have more conflict after the last two decades? Question of the day is, why put all this on TikTok? I think this is going to happen, but... Like, civilians, y'all get to go home, y'all get to go to y'all families, y'all go to work, y'all know what y'all life is going to be. My life is so unpredictable, I could be deployed within the next few days. Like They also said that artificial sweeteners were safe, and WMDs were in Iraq, and Anna Nicole married for love. I really just, like... I didn't come into the Army for this. And now, you can imagine the comment section on this. When she says, I didn't come into the army for this, you're going to have every COD commando say, listen, bro, you signed up for it. You've signed your life away. It's always cute when people say that on social media. But something that's lost in this entire discussion is whether you're a tier one operator, all these support people are needed to keep this big army flowing. So taking a giant shit on her is not solving anything. You need the admin clerk, the supply clerk. All these people are critical. And what she's saying, I'm sure there's a lot of people who feel the same way, but they don't post it on TikTok. And if you do post it there, you got to expect the backlash. Like, it kind of, it hurts me, like, and I don't, I don't really like to let stuff affect me, but this is affecting me because this is my life. <sighs> but wow. I just, I, if anything, I really just want people to be like, be more sensitive to the situation because this is my life we're talking about, like, there's potential that, like, honestly, like, there's potential that, that anybody going over there can't come back, won't come back. So it's just... Uh She's right. There is potential. But let's talk about reality for a second. The cause of death to 20 to 24 year olds is not dying in conflict or war in the military. It's usually dying from bad luck, right? So if I'm sitting there with PFC Wells, I'm going to say, think about this for a second. You're more likely to get killed by a bee sting or lightning than you are by getting deployed. Deep breaths. 
I just really, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't even know why I'm making this, but it's just like, people talking about the situation, like, please just, just keep in mind, these are real people, people that have families, people that have children, and y'all making jokes about it, and y'all this, and y'all all of that, and these trolls, I'm like, these are real people, real life situations. First lesson, PFC Wells, most people don't give a shit. As I recall, about 3% of the population served in the military, even smaller population gets deployed. So most people have no relationship to this. And if it's not in their sphere of concern, they really don't care. And PFC Wells expecting them to care is her first mistake. But I'm going to chalk all this up to a life lesson. You got a young person, probably never had a real job. Now all of a sudden you're dealing with the realities of working, of having a boss that says, hey, show up here at this time, Wells. We're working Saturday. Suck it up. That could be civilian job, military job. I don't really equate that as much to the military as I do. Just a young person trying to figure it out and all of a sudden the expectations and reality don't don't match up it's like please just be sensitive to stuff because like i'm not gonna lie to any of you i'm scared as hell right now if well showed this to me and say hey you're being a bit of a drama queen you're gonna get some pushback a lot of people feel this way but it may not be appropriate for tiktok how about this for an idea you want to do tiktok and twerk great Skip wearing the uniform, just do your twerking and your other stuff, you'll be just fine. Part of the allure to dance in your uniform, looking sexy, is the opportunity for later OnlyFans. We've seen a lot of that. Attractive troops that later go on to make 100 times more money on OnlyFans. I'm not sure if that's your angle here, but there's something to keep in your mouth shut and not publish everything on social media because every couch commando is going to tell you, suck it up, Wells. You're just a pogue. You're not doing shit. Meanwhile, there are mommy's basement eating Hot Pockets and drinking G Fuel. And then it's just like the army's not the only thing going on in my life right now. So it's just like this is just more added on to it. But Here's another misconception from young enlisted people. Every job's going to be a pain in the ass at some time. To include the military, so if you got a young child on the side, you got a new bow, guess what? You may get deployed. You may have to travel for your job. You may have to work Saturdays. That's part of it. Her comments don't strike me as much about getting deployed, but more about how it's going to change her lifestyle, her day-to-day -day affairs. If I were sitting down with her, I'd say, listen, deep breaths, you'll be out of this before you know it, and the world will be your oyster. But realize something, nothing's ever fair. We strong. We're going to get through it. We... Yeah. This is for uh, you, PFC Wells. PFC Wells video got deleted, but you had a lot of people chime in, give their opinion, try to help. But it's just like when your parents tell you something. Hey, Johnny, don't touch the burner. You have to touch the burner to see what it's like. So people can talk about their deployment, their experiences. But the reality is Wells is going to have to experience it. I highly doubt she's going to be running patrols in Kiev. But here's the big but. You remember Jessica Lynch, the supply clerk going in Iraq, gets taken POW, all of a sudden, supply clerk, POW. Shit happens, but again, she's more likely to get killed by a bee sting or lightning than in conflict. I know what you're going through. I've been there. Um, when I got deployed, it was it was a scary proposition. My oldest boy had just been born. I was being shipped off to Iraq. I was scared. I'd be a fool not to be scared. I'm not really, I'm not gonna necessarily tell you, you know, that's what you signed up for. Did you already know that's what you signed up for? You should always have it in the back of your mind that there's always a chance, however slim. But here you are. The key point to what he just said is however slim. We've all heard of tier one guys that are dying to get to the battle and end up in Guam doing training. So what I'm seeing here is you got a young person overreacting, putting it on TikTok, and then expecting people to go, hey, I'm with you. You got my thoughts and prayers. But as she said, most people don't understand. They don't want to get it. So if you're expecting people to give a shit, you're sadly mistaken. And this could be any job. Law enforcement, border patrol. Shit goes bad all the time, and I think Wells is growing up. But let's maybe not do it on social media. What would you tell PFC Wells if you had the chance to talk to her? To console her, make her feel better.